Hello boys and girls. So our read aloud for today is Wild About Books and you know that I am definitely wild about books. So Wild About Books by Judy Sierra and the pictures are by Mark Brown. Got some monkeys reading books on the end pages. Wild About Books. So on the end pages, there is something called a bookmobile, and it's a bus that um, is full of books. And when I was growing up, my school did not have a library inside the school. I actually went to East for part of my elementary, and then I, I um, went to Columbia, and both of those schools did not have a library. So the public library had some of their books on a bus, and I remember once a week, that bus would pull up in front of my school and I would go out and check out a couple of books. And so this book reminds me, so I'm making a book to self-connection. It reminds me of my childhood and checking out some books from the public school um, bookmobile, they called it. It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian, Molly McGrew, by mistake drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down the stair, turned down the computer, and sat in her chair. So there is Molly McGrew, and look at all of those great books and all of the animals checking her out. At first, all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. I like the rhyme of this book, do you? By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat, an oryx, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. Choosing thin books and fat books and cat and hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Giraffes wanted tall books and crickets craved small books while geckos could only read stick up to the wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their requests, always eager to please, just like Mrs. Fennell. She even found waterproof books for the otter, who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Raccoons read alone and baboons read in bunches and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. Hyenas shared jokes with the red-bellied snakes and they howled and they hissed till their funny bones ached. Do you like joke books? A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving mysteries right there at the zoo, such as why were the bandicoots books overdue? Gently, Molly taught lessons in treating books right for the boa constrictor squeezed crictor too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up good night moon with their paws. Giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. Mrs. Finnell teaches us how to treat our books too, doesn't she? How to take care of them so they last a long time. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the pictures right off the pages. Teddy bear picnic. <laughs> Tasmanian devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. 
pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupines wrote with their very own quills. So first they loved reading, and now they've decided to start writing. At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. The walking stick says, a cannibal twig silently devours a leaf eating, not eaten. And the scorpion says, pretentious. The dung beetle says, roll a ball of dung, any kind of poo will do, baby beetle bed. And the scorpion says, stink. The millipede wrote, I dig for treasure in my enchanted castle, a rotten apple. The scorpion says, boring. Giant hissing cockroach says, hiss, 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 hiss. And the scorpion says, redundant. Redundant means you repeat something over and over again. As the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he read chapters each night to the Barbary ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was given the Zulitzer Prize. Kind of like the Pulitzer Prize. With so many new books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork and a new, to build a branch library there at the zoo. Then the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check out the books. We can put them on shelves. And they did, and they do, up to this very day. Three cheers for the zoobrary. Hip, hip, hooray. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They are snug in their niches, their nests and their nooks, going wild, simply wild for wonderful books. I hope you'll go wild for some wonderful books today. Have a great day.